Hello, let's talk about domain and range of a function. Suppose a function f is defined from a set A to B. Then this first set is known as the domain and the second set is known as the range. By domain we mean um, it contains all the values, all the values x that the function can take and range contains all the value y which is the result as we plug in x into f okay so we might want sometimes want to write f of x equals to y if we graph the function f in the cartesian plane then the domain will be represented by the x-axis and the range will be represented by y-axis so this is small x and this is small y so this is the domain and this is the range now let us go for some visual um, examples of how we can figure out the domain and range of a given function okay so for that let us try to uh, let us look at some uh, graph of some functions and we will figure out the domain and range so let me pull out our electronic version of the book and in page number 30 here in question number 65 to 72 uh, it has asked us to determine the domain and range of the function okay so here you can see that the function f is denoted by the red color the domain and the range of this function is quite straightforward since you can see that the function f um, since the function f is drawn from uh, from here to here okay and if we go for the x-axis then the function has been drawn from 0 up to 5 okay similarly if we run through our uh, run through y-axis then this function has been drawn from 0 up to 3 so the domain for this function would be 0 to 5 and the range of this function is 0 to 3 now let's take another example 67 here you can clearly see that uh, this function this wiggly function is uh, as you might have noticed that this is a sine function the domain for this function ranges from negative 2 pi up to 2 pi since these are the values uh, in the y x-axis that defines the function and the range of this function would be negative 1 up to 1 so you can see the crest and trough and determine uh, what is the range of this function similarly you can you should be able to determine the domain and range of this function and this function and every other function just like absolute value function and so on now we have seen how to figure out the domain and range whenever a graph of a function is given but now let's take just the algebraic function uh, without its graph and try to figure out the domain and range of those kinds of function okay where the graph is not given so there are two things that we need to understand finding domain of a function means we want to avoid those kinds of number which gives us either imaginary numbers and or negative or positive infinities so the first thing that we need to understand uh, first thing we need to consider would be avoid imaginaries So imaginary numbers are of the form i equals to root under negative 1. So if we have a function something just like this, then we need to make sure this h of x must be greater than or equals to 0. Just to make sure that we don't get imaginary numbers whenever we uh, choose values from the domain. So second one is to avoid infinities avoid infinities that is positive and negative infinities okay so for this we need to look for the quotient functions okay let's suppose fx is a quotient function and we have f of x equals to numerator and denominator 
we know that something divided by 0 is infinity. So that's why we take care of denominator and suppose that this won't be 0. Let's take an example. Example 1. Suppose we have a function f of x equals to negative 1 plus root under x minus 1. Okay, so here you can see that in this function uh, there is an expression of square root. So by the previous discussion what we can realize is we need to realize that the quantity underneath the square root must be greater than or equals to 0. So x minus 1 must be greater than or equals to 0. Then let us solve this inequality and we will get the domain. Okay. So that would be x is greater than or equals to 1. Thus our domain would be include 1 and it goes up to infinity. Okay. So everything greater than or equals to 1 means we need to go for square brackets that's our domain. So now range, for range, we need to choose the values from the domain. Okay, so here the smallest value in the domain is 1. Let's plug in here. So then we'll be getting f of 1 would be negative 1 plus 1 minus 1 here would be 0. So that's negative 1. Now I don't think we can find any lesser number than negative 1 by choosing any values inside the domain. So, the range for this function, range of f would be negative 1 up to infinity. Okay, and negative 1 is also included. Uh, it, uh, I have demonstrated how to avoid imaginary numbers. And now let's go for the second one. Second example. Let's take f of x equals to 3 divided by x minus 2. So this is a quotient function. So by the second discussion, we need to avoid infinities. So we must restrict our domain to be non-zero. Okay. Since the denominator is x minus 2, so we set x minus 2 is never equals to 0. So that would be x minus 2 is non-zero. x should not be equals to 2. So that's the way how to find the domain of this function f. So domain of f would be all the real numbers except 2. Okay. Or you can write negative infinity up to 2 union 2 to infinity. Okay. So that would be the domain of the function f. Now for the range of this function, now, for the range of this function, let us write in this way. Let us write y equals to 3 divided by x minus 2. Then, let us interchange the position of uh, x minus 2 and y by cross multiplication. Then, we can write x minus 2 would be 3 divided by y. Okay. Then, x equals to 3 divided by y plus now here you can clearly see that um, 3 divided by y is in terms of quotient so y should not be 0. Range of f would be all the real numbers all the real numbers without 0. Okay. So or similarly you can write in similar way negative infinity to 0 of um, exclude 0 and 0 to infinity. So that's it. So this is the way how we figure out the domain and range of a function when the graph is not given. All right. Now here's a question that uh, I would like you all to answer. What is the domain and range of f? f of x equals to 3x minus 2. And what is the domain and range of f of x equals to the absolute value function x? Yeah, find the domain and range. Okay. 
If you have any question or comments, please let me know. Please comment below. Thank you.